Okay, in this video, I'm gonna be just talking quickly about BigQuery pricing so you understand how it works. It's pretty simple, um, so I'll explain it now. So you get one terabyte of data processed for free every month, and then it's $5 per terabyte after that. You, uh, as a free new user, you have $300 of credit, um, so you should be good, but this is how, how it's priced. It's so how you know how much you're going to be charged and how much data you're processing. Uh, BigQuery is really cool in that it'll give you like a, it'll basically tell you before you run your query how much it's going to process. So in our last video, we looked at this waste and diversion table, 740,000 rows. Um, if you quick, if you click query here, in a new tab, it'll start the query for you. And I'll show you basically how this works. So if we wanted to just select star, query this whole table, up here in the right, it basically compiles and it'll tell you if the query will work or not by giving you this little green check. And it'll, it says this query will process 62 megabytes of data, 62.99 when you run it. So you run this query you know we just did 63 megabytes of data and da, da, da. and so if you're wondering how much that is let's look it up um, megabytes in a terabyte so one terabyte equals a million megabytes apparently. So if you get one terabyte for free each month, basically that's a million megabytes for free each month. And that query we ran processed 63 megabytes. So one million divided by 63, you could run that query that we just ran over 15,000 times in a month before you started getting charged. So um, you are pretty good with BigQuery. Like I, I've used BigQuery a lot and I rarely get charged more than like a few dollars a month. It's very efficient, extremely cheap. I think the only thing that you could get yourself into trouble with if you had a paid account is like if you accidentally queried something that was like a hundred billion rows or something like that, like something ridiculous. But um, for most data sets and like just business or hobby related data sets, they're not going to be more usually than like, I would say like a few million rows at most. Like some certain data sets can get bigger, like web events data and those types of things. But most data sets you're going to be working with, you can query very cheaply with BigQuery. So that's how BigQuery pricing works. Um, let me know if you have any questions on that, but it's, pr it's pretty simple. And there are ways to optimize your query too. Um, just a, a couple quick ones. BigQuery is a column-based database. So if you select fewer columns, you uh, should process less data. So. You know, if I just wanted to process this load ID column, see it's saying 5.65 megabytes of data. So selecting fewer columns is one way you can you reduce uh, how much data you're processing, but that's, that's a topic for another video. But anyway, hope that helps you understand BigQuery pricing and let's uh, get into the fun stuff.